Hello everyone, today I come with good news. Prism Windows app v4 is finally released. This is a new version that is completely redesigned application based on OBS 29. It has been in development for the last six months, starting at the end of last year. Thank you so much for your patience while waiting for this new launch. Now, let me tell you quickly about the changes and improvements in Prism Windows app v4. Are you ready? Prism Windows v4 retains existing features while also incorporating the features provided by OBS. First, I would like to introduce support for LUT filters. LUT is a filter that applies color effects to images and videos. OBS Studio already provides the ability to apply LUT filters to various media sources. Now, the Prism app allows you to use LUT filters as well. The app comes with built-in LUT filters, and you can even apply your own LUT filters. This allows you to create a wide range of color effects that add depth and richness to your visuals. So be sure to check it out yourself. Prism Windows v4 has significantly improved the range of games that can be captured using the game capture feature. As you know, this is a critical element for streamers who focus on game casting. In previous versions of Prism, there were incidents where games were not captured or appeared as black screens. However, since Prism Windows v4 is completely re-implemented based on OBS, games that can be captured on OBS Studio can now be captured in Prism application. This expanded game capture capability opens the door to creating even more diverse and exciting game content. I encourage you to take advantage of this feature and explore the possibilities it brings to your game live streams. A word of caution, if you are still experiencing a black screen in areas of your recorded game footage in Prism Windows v4, please try the following tips. Try right-clicking on Prism application icon and selecting Run as Administrator. This may help. If you're still having trouble, try using the Window Capture or Screen Capture feature. If you've tried the above tips and are still having problems, we may need more information to find additional solutions. Please contact our team so we can help you in a more accurate and personal manner. Did you know that the Prism Windows v4 application supports HDR streaming? High Dynamic Range, or HDR, is a technology that displays sharper, more realistic colors and is often used for game casting. However, there are a few conditions that must be met before HDR streaming can be used for game casting. The game itself must support HDR output, and the HDR option must be enabled in the game settings menu. There are also requirements for in real life casting. The camera you're using needs to support HDR. You can check your camera settings to find out. It's also important to note that you'll need to make some settings in the Prism app for the true HDR streaming. Stay tuned for a detailed tutorial on our Medium blog. The ability to use OBS plugins in the Prism application is something many users have asked for. Download the desired plugin from the plugins page on the official OBS site. The downloaded file is usually compressed in zip format. Simply unzip and install the downloaded zip file into the folder where your Prism application is installed. This will make the plugin available in the Prism applications. Simple, right? Try installing the OBS plugin to get the functionality you need. Prism Windows v4 also brings a number of improvements to the user interface. There are a lot of improvements, and we want you to experience them for yourself by using the application as much as possible. However, there are a few things we'd like to share with you in advance. First, the preview area of the application has been enlarged compared to previous versions. We think you'll find it more convenient. Second, the go live and record buttons have been moved to the bottom of the app. The change in location makes them more intuitive and accessible. We hope you'll enjoy the improved interface and have a better streaming experience. With the release of Prism Windows v4, we are pleased to announce the release of the Prism Lens app. We'll have more information about the Lens app in another video, but we want to point out that the virtual background and beauty effect filters were featured previously on the Prism Windows app sidebar have been removed from the Prism Windows app and moved to the Prism Lens app. The Prism Windows application can be used in conjunction with Prism Lens. After installing the Prism Lens app, 
add the video capture source to the Prism Windows application. Then select Prism Lens from the list of devices and you're ready to go. Together, you'll be able to take advantage of a variety of features. The Prism application, you'll find a new feature called the Dock in the menu. The Dock contains several submenus, one of which is the User Browser Dock. This feature allows users to register web page links in the application. In addition to the browser dock, the dock menu also contains docs for scene lists and audio mixer. Be sure to take a look at this menu to make your life easier. Today we went over what's new in Prism Windows V4. After listening to your feedback, we hope you're excited to check it out. Get a better live stream experience with our new Windows application. See you next time. Bye.